Most people, we label people that speak up to have anger issues. We call them bitches, we call them whatever it is. Well, I think there's something we have to address there that's really important. Here's how to confront people. You can attach meaning to your life, but that meaning is yours and yours alone. It's not objective. It's not an absolute. Before you confront someone, make it clear what you want. Do you want more power, more freedom, more control over your life? Do you want to reclaim the power that you've lost? Do you want to live in integrity? Do you want to live in truth? Do you want to get the result? Do you want to get what they took away from you? Whatever they took away. It could be money, it could be a situation, it could be whatever it is, reputation. What do you want to get back? And once you know exactly what you want, then you can proceed. So here are a few guidelines to confront the other person. Uh, step number one, make it clear. Make it very clear and stick to the facts of what actually happened and what you disliked about what they did and how it made you feel. You don't point the finger at them, telling them how they were wrong, right? And blaming them, accusing them. But instead, you focus on the facts of exactly what happened without the judgment on it. So instead of saying, you took my guitar uh, in my room without asking me and uh, I fucking hate you for this and you're a piece of shit. No, you tell them. So, you know, when I came back from school the other day, I noticed that my guitar was not in my room anymore. And then I looked into your room and it was there. And uh, it, it, it made me feel like, uh, my boundaries were violated type of thing because this guitar is very expensive and I, don't, I, I just don't appreciate you just going into my room and just taking things. I understand you like to play guitar too, but I would really appreciate it if you could uh, ask me next time. You know, and I'll just take it like that. All right, thank you very much. Very simple, see like I stuck to the facts. I did not go into uh, blaming and accusing them I did not tell them, well, it's very irres irresponsible of you of just like taking my shit like that. Well, I could have potentially done that, but uh, you know, like the antagonistic stance uh, is not necessary sometimes. So make it clear, stick to the facts. And another tip is embrace the messiness. Sometimes it won't be as simple as that. Maybe you have a more messy example, layers of things that they did that you did not appreciate and many things that just accumulate and it's, and it's gonna be messy. Maybe the fact that they took your guitar does not have to do with the guitar itself or them wanting to play the guitar. Um, it has to do with the relationship. Maybe they have some resentment towards you that you have to address. Maybe they have this unresolved wound uh, from their previous friendship or relationship that they are putting onto you unconsciously. There's many things, so it can be very messy. So I want you to embrace the messiness because you might start off, you know, confronting them about something and then they bring up something to you. They just throw something at you. So you're like, you tell them, hey, you know, like when you talk to me this way, I don't appreciate it because blah, 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 right? That you explain and you try to be calm about it. And then they just throw some shit at you. Well. Remember last time you did this? And it becomes messy, right? Embrace the messiness because no confrontation can be 100% predicted and structured. There's no really steps to it. It's just kind of you got to do it and uh, <laughs> stay as calm as you can, right? And hopefully uh, it pans out correctly. Step number two, avoid any form of personal attack. Any form of personal attack. No fuck you, no, you're a piece of shit, no, you're an asshole. Stick to the facts, right? Step number three, stay calm. Stay calm because if you blow up on them and your emotions take over a little too much, then it'll become a heated argument. You know, sometimes it's inevitable. Um, sometimes you will have to have those emotional expressions, upheavals, explosions. If you don't have a choice, well, at the very least, try to stick to the facts and stand your ground. And if emotions uh, come and take you over, breathe through them and make sure the, as you express your emotions of anger, sadness, whatever it is, that you don't attack them. 
and it's really just coming from you. So you can be like, oh, I'm, I'm feeling very pissed off right now. I'm feeling very enraged about this situation, right? I don't like this at all. I think we can make it better, right? So then I'm expressing uh, negative emotions right now, but I'm not attacking as I'm expressing those emotions. If you, as you've noticed, you can be very expressive without attacking the other person. At the very least, as you express, don't throw an arrow at them, right? <laughs> just make sure it's just expression. Listen, it's better to be raw, honest. Even if there's a bit of emotional baggage behind it and a bit, a bit of a like punch in the face, it is better than hiding in the darkness, hiding miserable in the darkness, never having addressed the core issue. So remember that. And the last step, step number four, is focus on the solution. Clearly explain what you want to be changed, uh, what you want to be better, right? Focus on improvement and making things better. Don't focus on the problem and tell them like, well, you're a piece of shit because you talk to me like this, so you're condescending to me, you call me whatever little names, and you do this to me and you're passive aggressive to me, right? That is focusing on the problem. Focus on the solution. Hey, so, you know, instead of calling me uh, little darling, <laughs> it makes me feel kind of inferior and like conde condescended to. So could you just please call me from my real name? Or <laughs> whatever it is. Um, just tell them. Focus on the solution. Just call me by my real name. Just uh, ask me before you borrow something from me. Just whenever you want to do something, make sure that you uh, call me first, uh, don't just do it, All right? Whatever it is, focus on the solution and then you got a recipe for how to confront anyone artfully without hurting too many people <laughs> and being truthful and honest. So in the long run, the benefits of learning this, you'll be able to confront people on your path, the obstacles that get in your way to success or self-improvement or whatever it is, in the way of you achieving your goals, you will learn to embrace obstacles, social friction, tension, and you'll be able to navigate it artfully in any social setting. And it's something that you have to practice, it doesn't have to be aggressive, uh, stomping on someone. The point of confrontation is to make peace, to restore the harmony that was uh, disturbed, the peace that was disturbed. So with this in mind, you'll become a better person. You will grow in truth, not in lies and passive aggression, right? Because if you run away from confrontation, you will eventually still do it in a way that's underhanded, uh, dirty, right? And this will make the relationship toxic. So just be direct about it. Direct, direct, direct. Don't play around the bush telling them, oh, well, uh, yeah, I didn't, I didn't like this picture of you anyways. Yeah, oh yeah, the last time you did this. No, you wanna be direct. You wanna tell them directly. So then, free of tension, free of obstacles, and you can grow. And imagine if you, any obstacles that comes your way, whether socially or in terms of business in your career, that you can confront it right away. How much power you will have. You will be fearless, you will be strong, you will be a person of power, you won't be a doormat, no one will step on top of you, right? Stand up for yourself. If you order something from a restaurant and your steak is not exactly how you want it, just ask them, hey, can I have a steak that's exactly medium well? Because this is a little more well than medium well, so I wanted more medium well. And then they do it for you. So thank you for watching, that was how to confront people. Make sure you leave your suggestions below because I read every single comment. I reply to every single comment and the best suggestion, I'll probably make a video about it. And don't forget to click on the bell so on the bell you receive all my fucking videos. So thank you for watching and I'll see you next time, bitches.